Hello. If you're on a trip for business or pleasure and you want to get better internet from some of these hotels, I'm here to show you how. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Derek, and welcome to Hindsight 101, where you learn about things that will help you in everyday life. Now, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. So let's get to it. Now, if you want to know how to get better internet when you're on, a, say, a business trip or on a family trip, I'm going to tell you first and foremost how to do that. Now, I'm going to take you through a couple of different options, pretty much from least to greatest on my recommendations. So you have two examples, Netgear and Amp Wireless. Um, they work, both work pretty good. There's many of other brands, but basically what this is going to do, it's going to extend the wireless network that you have and then put out a new wireless network that you can use of your very own so you can have your own password and make that um, as secure as you want. Now the benefit of doing this is you know when you log into that hotel internet and they ask you to verify your room number and who you are and they give you kind of the terms and conditions and you have to do that every time you connect to the internet? Well with this, if you set up a wireless access point, then you can do that just once. So you can just use your phone and then you can log in and say, I accept. But then once you do that once, it'll accept it for all other clients that you add to this wireless access point. So that's good. So for things like, I know like Roku's and stuff have been updated, but if you have something that doesn't, can't display a web screen, then this will help out a lot because once you do it, say on your cell phone, you don't have to do it again. And then you won't run into that problem if whatever device you're using doesn't have a web interface so you can accept the terms. So the downfall with some of these as you can see right here, you have to have a laptop, which if you on a vacation, you probably don't want to bring your laptop with you because that means you're probably working. So that's why I don't really like this. But hey, I forgot to mention, this little thing is kind of actually pretty cool. It's a wireless router and access point all in one. And it's the size of smaller than a credit card. Um, and the cool thing about this here is if you see right there, um, it has a switch, so it'll, you can switch from AP access point or router, and that'll make, that's so, for a hotel, you'd use AP. And then, again, you'd have to have a laptop, you'd hook it up here, and then you could actually um, log into it, configure it how you want, and now you have this mini wireless access point. Or if you need it, you could do a router as well. But the cool thing is it runs off of USB power. So you could actually plug this into a laptop, a wall jack, and or you could plug it into a, a power bank such as oops, such as this, and you could run it off a power bank. And that would make this really great. But like I said, again, you need to have a connection to hook up to this. So normally you're gonna need a laptop, which kind of sucks. So next, what I like to call wall warts. So these are just Two old brands that I have, but they've, they're much newer ones. As you can see, I haven't invested in anything new, so these are the oldest ones I have. I have a TP-Link, and I have this diamond. Um, they plug into the wall, and then again, you have to have a router, and you hardwire in, you plug it in, and then that's how you can configure it. Um, and then it just, you set it up with the wireless signal that's in the hotel, just like the other bigger access points. But this one is more convenient for traveling, especially this one, it closes up, and you can fit this a lot better and a suitcase, this will fit in my pocket if I really wanted to. This one's kind of a wall wart in itself, but you know, this will work it's a lot smaller than, as you can see, um, something like this. Which one would you rather travel with, I guess is the question. So, same thing, either one of these still has to have a laptop. So that's kind of why I kind of shy away from those, and you need an ethernet cord to hook them together, so that's in or there. Now my favorite, and what I most recommend is the touchscreen router slash access points. Depending on what you get, some of them are both or some of them are just access points. Uh, the price point will make the difference on what you want. Now I have this one, which is uh, uh, Almond. They, they're probably the first ones that came out with the touchscreens. And then I can see everything here. I don't have to log in with the laptop. Everything comes up on the screen. This one's all right, but it doesn't have the best range. Um, they have some newer ones that are a lot more expensive. This thing's around 80 bucks, I believe. I don't know if they've changed it, but um, it works really well. You even get a stylus. If I can find it, yeah, you get a stylus because the touchscreen isn't that great. 
and it works. And plus you get an extra, you get two ports. You want to hardwire a few things. Uh, so this is nice. But then I kind of upgraded. And this is another amp wireless product I have. Uh, it's just coincidence that I have a couple of them. And this one's also touchscreen, but it has better range. One, because it has an antenna and I can upgrade this antenna. So if I don't like this little dinky thing, I have much larger antennas that will get a much better signal and much better range, which means much better quality. Because remember, when you hook this up to the Wi-Fi at a hotel, you're only gonna get as good quality as the hotel is putting out. So the stronger signal that you can achieve, the better it is. If you get a weak signal, say on this thing that has internal antennas, then you're only gonna have a, just you're just gonna amplify a weak signal already. You're not gonna improve in any way. Even though this may say you have full bars, you have full bars, or this one too, that you have full bars on whatever signal it's putting out. So say the signal's at 50%, you have full bars on this of a 50% signal coming from the hotel. So keep that in mind. Always go for an antenna if you can. It does make it more clunky, but you'll get a lot better signal and range out of it if you do go with an antenna. Side note. Getting back on track though. So like I said with this, the Amp Wireless, it's all touchscreen. Uh, you can go on Amazon and just type in touchscreen router at slash access point and it'll give you a whole bunch. Like I said, Almond has one, uh, Amp Wireless has one, TP-Link has one, D-Link I think has one. So you can make your pick on what you want and just kind of scroll through and look for the features and options that work best for you and the price point as well and go from there. So let's kind of just play with this one real quick. So we're just gonna kind of play with the touch screen here. Oh, oops. So as you can see right here, it says no connection. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna scan. So I press scan. It's scanning for the networks that are in my area. So as you can see, these are the wireless networks that came up in my home. So um, the one we're gonna use is T-House. The reason why I have two of them is because um, I have some access points that are repeating those signals, so that's why it shows two. But we're gonna go with that one that has the strongest signal. So the top one has 95 as opposed to 91, so we'll go with that. And then it's gonna ask me for the security key of the network I wanna connect to. So this would be the security key that the hotel gives you um, for their, for their uh, wireless. I just click done. It's gonna give me another screen verifying that I put in the correct security key, whatever network I wanna to connect to. Go to next. And then here, it's you can make a new network. So you can identify what this access point is. So here, the default is the AMP TAP EX. That's kind of the model number of it. That'll be the new SSID that you'll connect to in your room. So, and then I wanna put in a security key. We'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I'm putting in a new security key that I'll use in the hotel room to connect to the, the new SSID AMP tax ED. And then it's just verifying what I see. You can see that there is an option of just to clone um, what's already existing if you wanna do that. I don't really care to do that because sometimes it's hard to know which network you're connecting to. Because like you saw the tea house one, um, you may not know if you're connecting to the right one or not. Um, so you always want to make a new network when you're at a hotel, a new SSID. Click next. Um, it's just doing some verifications, setting up, making sure everything's set up. That could take a few minutes. So we'll kind of speed through this until it's done. So it does take a few minutes, I'd say about five minutes for this to connect. It may take a while, don't be surprised by that. It has to do a lot of stuff internally. But as you can see now here, it's set up my new um, network ID and the password. So anybody in my hotel room would just need this information, they could log in. But anyone who doesn't know this information can't log in um, and access anything on this network. So it makes it a little more secure, but still you're connecting to public Wi-Fi, which is susceptible to a lot of things. So don't think it's, a, you can, you know, do, I still wouldn't do my banking on this and different things like that because anything's still possible when you're connecting to um, public Wi-Fi. But that's really all I have. But if you have any other questions or need some advice, I've done this many times, feel free to shoot me a question. 
or if you have some suggestions that I didn't think of, I'd love to hear it below in the comments. Thank you for your time. Take care.